coming to me for a favor? The next thing you'll be telling me is going to snow tonight in Santa Barbara. I need money, CC. And you have it. And that's the only reason I'm here. <laughs> oh, Lionel, you got to be joking. I'm not joking. I need a loan of a million dollars, and I need it now. Well, what have you done, Lionel? Have you join one of those men's clubs where they wear funny hats and have initiation rights, or what? CC, I... I don't have time to joke with you. I am asking you for a loan. If necessary, I will beg you for it. A loan for a million dollars? That's right. There is a life at stake. Augusta's. She's been kidnapped and she's being held for ransom. I hope you don't think that you're going to end up getting him. Maybe not right away. Never. Cece will make sure of that. You make it sound as if Cece were in charge. He is. Santana signed some papers. Brandon is back in his custody now. Santana signed papers. It broke her heart. But we have to do what is right for Brandon. Brandon thinks of Cece as a father, so it seemed best. Not to mention that it'll keep him away from you forever. Rosa, nothing is forever. Dr. Oh, Miss Andrade, I'm glad you're still here. This is uh, Dr. Cirque. We've been talking about Santana's case. I'm afraid he has some disturbing news. What is it? We just received your daughter's blood tests. Uh, we found a heavy concentration of methylphenidate, indicating long-term abuse. Long-term abuse? Santana's been using drugs. She's been an addict for some time. It's really hard for me to believe this could have happened after all the pain and unhappiness that's been going on. You know what he used to tell me? That this is our world. This is where we gain the strength to go out and battle all the bad things. That's what she used to tell me. Yeah, don't you miss the houseboat? Mm -hmm. Wasn't it great? It's just you and me, alone. It used to make me feel very safe. I wish I could do that for you right now. You don't know how much you've already done. I mean it. Would you do something for me? Anything. No, no, I, I wouldn't think that so fast. You may find it a little harder. What do you want me to do? I want you to smile for me. Smile? I know it sounds hard. We haven't done it together for a really long time. No, I guess we haven't. It means committing ourselves to right now. Not thinking about the outside world. Because I know there's a lot that's not settled. But I love you so much. I want to see you smile. Mm -hmm. Look at that smile. How can I compete with that? Hey, where are you going? Hey.
believe it. Now, think about it, Miss Andrade. Think about uh, the way Santana's been acting. It explained her moves, her erratic behavior. She's been under terrible strain, Doctor. Well, judging by the levels that we found, we know that the tolerance was that of a person who's been taking the drug frequently. It certainly wasn't a one-time thing. I want to hear it from Santana herself. Poor Santana. Uh, yeah, I bet you're just heartsick, aren't you? Uh, Mrs. Castillo is still asleep. I'll be back later. Perfect timing. I mean, everybody thought Santana was lying as it was. Now they find out she's a hophead. <laughs> Watch out. Well, things are going perfectly. One thing's just falling together right after another. What exactly do you mean? Well, first Brandon. What, uh, what about Brandon? Apparently, Brandon was signed over to CC by Santana. It works out perfectly for me. I mean, that's right where I want him. All I have to do is become Mrs. Capwell, and I'm his mother. Legal and everything. You know, you keep saying things like that. People aren't going to take you seriously. It's going to happen. You just watch. Come on, the Capwells despise you, CC especially. They try to run you out of town, girl, on a rail. But I have a plan. What plan? Well, I don't really want to talk about it. All I'll say is that it involves Kelly. Kelly? She just escaped from the hospital. I don't think she's going to be a whole lot of support. <laughs> just wait till she gets herself back together and get back, gets back into town. <laughs> then things will change. How? That's all I'm going to tell you. I've said enough. My luck has finally started to change. It's happened ever since Santana got hooked. Well, uh, when people begin to discover that she is hooked, I wouldn't be standing around holding the fishing pole if you gather my meaning. Don't worry. No, I think you should. Cruz will put two and two together about those pills. Remember that uh, she and he will probably figure out that you were conveniently around every time her supply needed refurbishing. That doesn't prove anything. If I were you, I'd make sure. How? Well, I'd fix it so that it looked like that she'd been feeding her own supply. And, um, this might help. I have no idea who they are, CC. But if they want two million dollars, then by God, that's what they'll do. What do you mean two million? It's only one million. It's two million. We already got a million from Augusta's money, and Lakin signed the papers that were necessary. We used Warren's trust. But it still adds up to just a million dollars. Now, CC, I will pay you back somehow, I swear. Oh. CC, for heaven's sake. Let me ask you a question. Now, do you call the police yet? No, of course not. What do you mean, of course not? When you're dealing with criminals, don't you think you should get some outside help from people who know how to deal with these they things? They said if I called the police, they would kill her. Kidnappers always say that. You gotta call their bluff. And you think I'm gonna take that chance? Surely you can understand how he feels. Sophia, if you give in to these people, you give them carte blanche to do this to everybody. It's we another form of terrorism. talking about Augusta's life I am here. not gonna give a million dollars to terrorists. I'm not gonna go along with this at all. That's it. Fine. Vines, you see, I, I don't want you to go anywhere you don't want to go, except maybe straight to hell. I uh, know what you think I should have done. Would you like to let me explain? This is not a mere difference of opinion, and I'm not going to let this stand. And what does that mean? That means, very simply, that if you don't give him the money, I will. Coming up next here on KUSB, we've got The Perfect Life. That's moving up from number 37 this week to... Oh. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. Guess I just didn't get my quote of Z's last night. Or maybe this will get my motor running again. Here it comes, guys. I'm going to be there. That's what I would like to know. What's the matter? But yawning is forbidden in the closet or is it by pain of death? <laughs> we do prefer that our announcers arrange to stay awake while they're on the air. Is that too much to ask? Jane, I yawned. I mean, it's not like falling asleep or anything. How are you supposed to keep the audience interested if you can't keep interested yourself? Oh, I don't believe this. I mean, there are a hundred people that would kill for your job, who need your job to put food on the table, but no. 
They have to listen to some poor little rich kid who stayed up too late partying and then yawns in their earphones. Oh, I see. So just like this rich kid here can't, like, work for a living like everybody else. No, not unless he takes it seriously. I'm taking it seriously, Jane. Now, I don't think you understand the difference be between being serious and totally grim. The one is a healthy understanding of what is important, and the other is like a total lack of, of a, any humor whatsoever. Now, I wouldn't get the two confused because you'd lose all the friends that you have. Hi. What's wrong? Excuse me. All right. What happened? Nothing. I just lit a fire under your favorite DJ. He's getting a little too complacent for his own good. Good job. Are you cold? I'm okay. Yeah. I'm there. What are you thinking about? Oh, I don't want the fire to go out. We just got it started. Yeah. It's gonna die eventually. And then we gotta go home. Don't be thinking about that. It's gonna happen when we leave here. We'll take it one day at a time. What's gonna happen when Santana needs you? What are you gonna do, walk away? No, I'm gonna be there for as best I can. I'm gonna be her friend. I'm gonna give her the best help I can. I just can't be her husband anymore. That's all she wants. That's all it means in It's right. not what she wants right now. She told me she never wanted to see me again. You tried very hard. I think I did. I think I did. But I was fooling myself, darling. Because whatever it is, I missed you. Whatever it is between you and me, I don't know. Won't let us go. No, I won't. And I don't think it ever will. You don't know what it means, do you, see? I'm not saying things are going to be perfect between us. A lot has to happen before we can really be together again. I know. But I can wait as long as I know you love you. I love you more than my life. I'll never try to deny it again. All these in one shift, all right? Well, it's, it's not all in one shift, actually. Uh, See, I need a big variety of tapes so I can press them all with my big marathon. You what? Well, see, Jane was accusing me of lying around on the job. So she needs proof that I'm committed, and that's what she's gonna get. When I sign on, I'm gonna stay on, and she's gonna have to drag me off, screaming and kicking. <laughs> You're kidding. Nah, not at all. I mean, there's gotta be some kind of a record for the longest broadcasting. And I'm gonna do it. You watch. Besides, KUSB was get some good publicity out of this. Believe me. 
Seth, it's a fantastic idea. Yeah. Oh. What are you doing? Uh, this is a book on world records. I look up radio broadcasting. Look, in 1981, a guy read Ulysses for 39 hours, no, 29 hours, 38 minutes. Come on, you can break that. Yeah, hands down on that one. I said I'm not going to be reading Ulysses. Mm. And you can't even spell it. James. Oh, James, look, this is a really fantastic idea. Ted is going to try and break the world record on radio broadcasting. What? Yeah, and if I yawn, you can kick me off right away. Isn't this a great idea for publicity? Oh, you know what? We need to get people to call in, make pledges for charities. There's tons of charities. Hey, now you're help. talking. Wait a minute. Oh, come on, come on, come on. It'll be like a telephone. Now, now don't even object to this, okay? Because, look, we'll get a whole bunch of people, sponsors with big money, and then we'll get some pledges and during the actual broadcast. Ted, you can't do this. You are not the station manager. You can't make decisions. I've told you that before. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Bring this thing up to a vote at the, with the brass, okay? Now, if they don't like it, one person thinks it's a bad idea, I'll eat my hat. Uh, on the air with horseradish. <laughs> How could you believe that? The doctor said they found traces of it in your blood. Then someone paid him to say that. Santana, who would say such well, a thing? Well, the only pills that I take are my allergy pills. I told that to the judge. You heard me say that. I don't understand about these blood tests, then. And they're making this up. They're trying to frame me. You know that Keith Timmons and everyone else is against me. This isn't like you, Santana, to think that people are all out to get you. The reason I'm thinking this is because it's true. Mama, you, you have to believe me. See, sí, hija. But let's not talk about this anymore right now, all right? You were sleeping so peacefully. Why don't you try to get some more rest? How can I rest when, when everyone is calling me a liar? I'm not calling you a liar. I'm just very confused. I'm going to go out and see if I can find the doctor. Dr. Hart, Dr. Hart, CCU. Where is Rosa going in such a hurry? Hey, right now, if I were you, I'd worry about where to put those pills, and I'll see if I can obtain a search warrant. I'll have to think of a way to thank you. Yes, you are. Rosa talked to you, I, uh, blood test came back. You've been on uppers. It explains a lot. You dropped something. Santana? Who's your connection? Get out of my room. Might as well tell me, they'll find out anyway. Wait, aren't these your allergy pills? They must have fallen out of your purse. Oh, my God. Now I know. Get out. Get out! I think it's time. I knew you were going to say that. I wish we could stay forever. Tell me nothing's going to change. What was it, a hundred years ago we were going to get married? A hundred years ago, seven hundred years ago? I still want that to happen, Eden. When? As soon as I've done what I can for Brandon and Santana.
signs of compassion in you? I am feeling very sorry for Lionel, if this is true. If it's true? Are you saying to me that you doubt it? Sophia, the man stood here not very long ago and said he's going to get back every dime I ever took from him if it took him a lifetime. How do I know this is not what he's trying to do now? Because that man walked in here with desperation all over his face because his wife has been kidnapped and you won't admit that you are part of the I party. didn't kidnap Augusta. No, but you took away everything else he has. He is helpless now in a situation like this because of you, because you ruined him for some petty revenge. You sound like Eden. Really? What does that mean? She said the same thing. She's very upset that I took everything from him. She was ashamed of me. Well, he won't listen to me, but maybe you'll listen to Eden even though it might be too late. Maybe I can listen to both of you. Darling, I'm not making excuses for myself, but when I thought I lost everything, and I'm talking about you, I wanted him to lose everything. When I thought he was taking you away from me, I, I had to fight back. I guess I have to admit now, I, uh, I went too far. I never thought I'd hear you say that. You know, I was thinking about this the other day. I was, uh, I took a look at you and I thought to myself, maybe if Kelly was here and safe, I'd probably have everything I ever wanted. You do what you want me to do. You're giving the money. You know, I didn't think I could. But I keep falling more in love. Doctor's reports came back from the hospital on Santana. We just decided we'd look for a stash. For what? For stash. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, that's right. You weren't there. Well, listen, uh, she had some blood tests run on her, and uh, along with all the old hemoglobin, you know, and red corpuscles, about a whole bunch of speed. We thought she might have kept it here someplace. You know? You're out of your mind, Keith. Ah, uh, come on! She had all the symptoms. I think we get pay dirt. Look under that piece right there. Well, 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 looky, looky, looky here. Right here with the family jewels. Let me take a look at those. Do you mind if I look at those? Well, you've seen amphetamines before, haven't you? I mean, they're almost, almost like uh, these allergy pills, but not exactly. I mean, that way no one would notice if she substituted one for the other every once in a while. I had no idea. Oh, get real. You had to know. I had no idea. Oh, yes. Yeah, maybe not in the beginning, but I think once after the habit really got going, you knew. Maybe you even felt sorry for her. Maybe, maybe... Maybe <laughs> what? Well, uh, it's just I've heard my share of stories about, about cops who borrow a certain substance out of uh, evidence rooms, you oh, know, to help yeah, their yeah. honeys... <laughs> All right, I'll tell Haley we'll meet you later. No, I agree this takes plenty. If we're going to do this, we better do it right. Okay, goodbye. See you later. Hi, Roxanne. 
Hi. How's it going? Look, you shouldn't scare people like that. Oh, that's right. I must be talking to Jane then. Because I remember Roxanne. She didn't scare so easy. She liked excitement. What do you want? To say hello. You know, I think about you from time to time. And, well, when I heard you doing your Roxanne number on the radio, well, I just had to look you up. Look, Chad, you know, I'm, I would love to talk to you, but I'm really very busy with Oh, the old brush off. You haven't changed your ways, I see. Look, just because we didn't work that way. Don't you do this to me. You know, I used to think that you did that just for me. I didn't realize you were doing it for other guys, too. You think this Ted guy you keep calling would be interested to know about that? Hmm? Would it make you happy to tell him? Hmm? You know what would make me happy? You want to know? I've got about two more weeks left before I leave for Maui for a job. Now, if you and I could spend some time together during those few weeks, well, that would make me a whole lot happier. You understand? For starters, maybe we could hit this thing together. Dancing, barbecue. Sounds like fun. Chad, you must know a hundred little beach bunnies with their bikinis just ready and waiting for a fun chance like that. Why don't you give one of them a call? I'm giving you a call. Well, you've got the wrong number. Nobody's home. May I help you? You said you were short of time. Money. A million dollars. Yes. All I ask is that I have a say in how it's handled. And I want to guarantee you that this is a legitimate request. Legitimate? Lionel, how do I know you're not making up this whole thing to get the money and just take off? Mm -hmm. It's not a scheme. Cece, don't. All right, all right. No more questions. Have I earned the right to give you some advice? Of course, go ahead. Since you don't want the police, at least have some security, some private detectives around when Augusta is released. No, they're bound to be on the lookout for something like that. I can't risk her life. Lionel, well, how do you know they will not kill her after they take the money? Do you have any assurance that she's alive even now? Mr. Lockridge, there's a phone call for you. Yes. Time for a progress report. Do you have the money? Yes. Yes, I have it. But you're not going to see a penny of it until I know Augusta's all right. If I were you, I'd do a lot less talking, a little more listening, Mr. Lockridge. By the way, there's someone here who's very anxious to talk to you. Augusta. Please report to radiology, Dr. Chris. Yeah. I know I probably shouldn't be here. That's okay, but... I've, I've got to go in and talk to Santana. Yeah, I, I found out about the drugs. You believe that? I don't understand how that happened. Her whole personality changed. It never once occurred to me it could have been chemical. What are you saying? Well, it just seems weird, doesn't it? That I, like, I didn't... Maybe I wanted to believe that she wasn't the person I always thought she was. Like, maybe I, I just didn't... I couldn't let myself see there was something terrible going on. You sound like you're blaming yourself. I am blaming myself. Are you kidding? I mean, this wouldn't have happened. She wouldn't have gotten so out of control if I'd had the brains to take her to the, the, the Cruz, a doctor. Don't, don't do this. Don't do what? Don't be responsible for her. She's a grown woman. Yeah, I, I know. I gotta, I gotta talk to her, okay? Don't let anything happen. Don't let what happen? You said things wouldn't change. And they already have. Things are different already. No, no, no. I think it's different. It's just a little more complicated. I just don't want to talk about it right here. Later at the beach. I promise you.
I'm doing just fine as it is. And I've got Roxanne. <laughs> and what more do I need? You pretend you're joking, but you really are attracted to her, aren't you? Well, maybe. I mean, she's not the type of girl you'd settle down with. But yeah, she gives you your old run for the money. Oh, yes, and Haley's the type of girl you'd settle down with. Well, don't make it sound so insulting, Jane. Oh, defending her again, Prince Gallant? <laughs> well, why not? I mean, she's not here to defend herself. Oh, what is so wonderful about that docile little wide-eyed infant? I guess you never really looked in those eyes, did you? You never really saw the girl who grew up without a mother, whose father died when she was 17 years old, traveled all the way across the country alone, very few friends, like a dime in her pocket. And this girl was not afraid. She knew she had to do it. This is no infant. This is a very strong and brave person. The only difference is she doesn't run around trying to beat everybody over the head with it. Are you all right? That's all I care about. Yes, but there isn't much time. How will you ever get the money? I got it. It's impossible. I know. I know it sounds it, but Cece Capwell gave me half of it. I won't ask how, just thank him. Tell him I thank him with all my heart. I will. God, Augusta, it's good, good to hear your voice. I've been going crazy worrying about you. I love you. Just take care of yourself. When you do that, we'll be together very soon. I promise. Please, don't. Augusta. Time is short, Mr. Lockridge. What have you done with her? Next call, we'll give you the drop-off location. Go back to your boat there and wait. Wait. She's so scared. She tried to keep it out of her voice. She... She, she wanted to... Thank you, Cece, for all you've done. She was very moved. At least you talk to her. At least you know she's okay. Yeah, for now. They arranged the drop-off point. Not yet. They, 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 they said they'd call again. I guess it means more waiting. Has it been going on? I sure wish you would have come to me. I could have got you some help. Look, it's not time to talk to me. I'm, I'm not going to stand in judgment of you. I know how easy it is to get dependent on something like this. I see it every day. There's no point in denying it. They found them. They searched the house. They were in the jewelry box right next to your allergy medicine. How dare you? How dare you talk to me like that? How do you want me to talk? I don't understand what is going on, and I can't unless you tell me. What am I supposed to say? Already I'm tried and convicted. You believe them, Mama believes them, so what's the point? Who is them? You know, not once does it even occur to you that maybe I'm being set up. You know, first the accident, now, now the pills. I don't know who can fight it. I certainly can't. Well, you're not even trying to fight it. I'm not, not even trying. To trying. Oh, my God, how could anybody try any more than I already have? I practically poured my heart out in front of the judge, in front of you, in front of Mama, in front of the whole town, practically. No one believed me. That's no one not believed true. the word that I said. What's wrong? That's not true. Get out. Just get out of here and leave me alone. Hey. Hey. I, I, I'm going to fight my own battles from now on. You're no help to me. <laughs> You know, you, you already thought that I was a liar. Now that you think that I'm a junkie, you think I'm a junkie, right? Go on. Get out. Just run to Eden. I don't want you near me. Just go on, get out of here! Hey. Oh, oh, unhappy, are we? Listen, no, 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 no. Let's not lose our tempers like we did last time, okay? Because I might not be so understanding. Look, think twice. You don't want an assault charge on top of everything else, do you? 
What is it with you, man? Anytime there is suffering or pain, there you are. Hovering. Of course, that's what vultures do, isn't it, Keith? They like to hang around hoping to scrape up some blood after the kill. <laughs> I, I, I don't enjoy all suffering, just yours, you know? But then you deserve to suffer. You neglected that poor woman in there, didn't you? I mean, you pushed her to the point where she could think of doing nothing but pouring a lot of happy pills down her throat. Unfortunately, that isn't a crime I can hang on you. Much as I'd like to. I thought I'd find you here. I, I was uh, writing a note to Cruz. I thought we could get back what we had, Mama. But so much has happened. Maybe in time, sweetheart. I think we're going to need more than time. I think we're going to need a miracle. There's too many people who are pushing us and arguing. I just don't think we're going to be together. I really don't think we're going to be together anymore. Honey, wait, don't go. I'm oh, sorry, Mama. I just have to get out of here. Everything went exactly as planned. Cruz even showed up on time to make the discovery and went straight to Santana, who, of course, freaked. Oh, that sounds perfect. What's wrong? I mean, everything's going according to our plan. I just don't like her taking a grunt of everything. I know. It's going to be pretty brutal. Well, what choice do you have? I mean, you have to protect yourself. I'm going to have to like it. Well, I like it enough for both of us. Now, all I have to do is sit back and wait for Kelly to come home and stand trial. What Kelly has to do with you, I don't think I'm going to ever figure out. Kelly will have to stand trial. That'll probably give Cece another stroke. Well, he'll do anything to avoid that from happening. I'm still in the dark. And that's just where I want you to stay. In fact, I have a nice dark place I'd like to take you. I do my best work in the dark. Did I ever tell you that? I'm still here. Hi, I'm uh, putting together a thank you note that we'll send to the people who pledge money. Oh, well, that's something I never thought of. Good. Well, it has to get done. Yeah, so are you going to stick around for tomorrow's big kickoff? No, not tomorrow night. No, wait a minute. I thought you were going to throw some cold water on me when I threaten to lose consciousness. <sighs> no, I have plans. Oh? Yeah, I got a last-minute invite to the beach party, and so I thought, why not? Oh, Chad. Oh, great. Could you just put this down there for me? Thanks. Sure. Chad's been helping me get things organized, you know, for you tomorrow. Uh, Chad Henderson, Ted Capwell, Ted, Chad Henderson. Oh, pleasure. And, and Jane Wilson. Chad, this is Jane Wilson. She's our assistant uh, manager here. Mm, hi. Hi. Well, I guess I'm through for the night. I'm going to head home. Oh, let me drive you. Thanks. It'll be nice. Okay, uh, Ted, get some sleep. Jane, I'll see you at home. Come on, Jane. Good meeting you both. Yeah. So, oh, by the way, Jane, about tomorrow night, you wouldn't happen to be thinking about sticking around for some moral support? Me? Isn't Haley going to be here? Oh, oh, no. Oh, so you think I might make it? You can give me 20 lashes when I start to yawn. I was afraid I wasn't going to see you here. I can't go on like this. What are you talking about? Every time Santana needs you, she says that you're the only one that you have to go. Eden. 
Nothing is going to change what I promised you. Really? Really. I got a second chance at you, darling. I never expected to get it, and I'm not about to let it go. I love you. I love you, too. Today, when I told you I wanted to be married, it was as if I'd already said the vows. They're sacred to me now. All you have to do is try.